Oh, hello. Wasn't really looking at that. Um, I was looking at this in preparation for your exam. There's a, um, a section on Gaudium et Spes. It means joy and hope. And it was a teaching put forward by the Catholic Church in the 1960s. One of those big meetings with the Pope and the bishops. Do you remember what those meetings are called? It's called a council. And there's a document that was reminding Catholics that we, as human beings, are the high point of God's creation. Remember that famous quote, we're made in the image of God. And as a result, um, we all have basic human rights, the church says, to education, to children, to freedom of conscience and freedom of religion. The church had recognized that the world was becoming seriously wealthy and advanced and there were a certain number of people who were benefiting but they use these words, really powerful words, that a large section of the population were tormented, it's a harsh word, tormented by hunger and poverty. And it was calling Catholics to look after not just Christians but everyone, our whole human family. Remember the teaching of Christ love your neighbor as you love yourself and it's about making sure that everyone gets fed uh, wealth is distributed more evenly and we do good with what we have and they talk about society needing to be based on truth and justice you know you're not going to go far wrong from there and whatever we do we need to be motivated by love you think um, they're of the kingdom of god so um, just have a think about that. It's common sense, but it's what the church is saying we need to do as Christians for the entire human race. Um, it's about the common good, um, looking after all our brothers and sisters. So just uh, go through the video again, make a few um, basic notes. So that's it. Gaudium et spes, joy and hope. Hope that you are going to mug up um, Gaudium et Spes and really do well in the summer and enjoy then when you get those results. Oh.